Hi there, I'm Alicia Malone and thanks for being with me this Sunday afternoon. Our next film stars Catherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy. It was their seventh time starring in a film together and this one was written just for them. From 1952, it's Pat and Mike. The script came from their old pals, writers Ruth Gordon and Garson Kanan, who had recent success with their screenplay for Adam's Rib. That comedy had also starred Tracy and Hepburn and was directed by another of their friends, George Cukor, and after that, MGM was eager to put that team back together for another comedy. And Gus and Kanan came up with the idea for Pat and Mike while watching Catherine Hepburn play tennis. He realised that audiences hadn't really seen how naturally athletic she was and how she threw herself into sports with great excitement. In Gus and Kanan's book called Tracy and Hepburn, An Intimate Memoir, he wrote about how healthy Hepburn was, that she played tennis daily, swam constantly, walked, jogged, rode her bike through Central Park and was, in his opinion, one of the best lady golfers in the country. I also love that he added that Hepburn was a very accomplished sleeper, that, quote, she has been known to sleep 14 hours out of 24, but in those waking 10, watch out. Their script has Catherine Hepburn playing Pat, an athlete who is managed by Mike, played by Spencer Tracy. Kanan and Gordon tailored these characters to suit their friends and their natural chemistry, and Kanan called this one of Spencer's most enchanting performances, a dark-shirted, full-blooded, no-nonsense sporting man. Let's see it. From 1952, also with Aldo Ray and directed by George Cukor, it's Pat and Mike. When George Cukor spoke about directing Pat and Mike and Adam's Rib before it, he said he was largely left alone by the studio. There were a few disagreements, he said, a few cuts made against my wishes, but by and large a great deal of support and sympathetic understanding. Cukor was also pleased that on those two films he was allowed to try out new talent, Judy Holiday for Adam's Rib and Aldo Ray for Pat and Mike. This wasn't the first film for Aldo Ray, but he was right near the beginning of his acting career, having started just the year before. Cukor had recently directed him in The Marrying Kind and had been impressed, calling him a very gifted actor. Ray went on to play a series of tough guy soldiers in war films like Battle Cry, Men in War and The Naked and the Dead, though he struggled to find good roles after the 1950s, saying, in some ways, the tough soldier role locked me in. But he was great with Spencer Tracy and Catherine Hepburn, and next on TCM, we're switching from Tracy and Hepburn to Garner and Andrews, with a comedy from 1964 that stars James Garner and Julie Andrews. It's coming up right after this break, so stay with us. Next on TCM, the Americanization of Emily. Then, guess who's coming to dinner? And later, the taking of Pelham 123. Ride with TCM Today.